Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you PN Junction Diode and its VI characteristic. This is part 2 of PN Junction Diode. Before I discuss PN Junction Diode, in my previous video, in part 1 video, I have already explained some basic concept of PN Junction. The formation of PN junction, zero bias PN junction, diffusion process, diffusion current and barrier potential. So for these topics, please visit to my previous video. Now in this video, I will explain you all about PN junction diode. Its layer structure, circuit symbol, VI characteristic, the operating mode, all about PN junction I will discuss here. So first is what is PN junction? PN junction is the most basic building block of all the semiconductor device. To form PN junction, we take a P type semiconductor material, a N type semiconductor material and join them with the help of a special fabrication technique to form PN junction. And the terminal are brought out for the external connection with P or N type semiconductor. The P side is called anode terminal and N side is called cathode terminal. So this is the layer structure of PN junction semiconductor diode. Now question is why it is called diode? Because it having two electrode, one in P side, this terminal is also called one electrode and next is N side, this terminal is also called second electrode. So it having two electrode, one P side or one N side, that is why it is called diode. Now this is the circuit symbol of the PN junction diode. Here we see this is anode terminal. It means this side is P side because anode always connected from P side and this is cathode terminal. So this is N side. The arrowhead indicate the direction of current flow in the PN junction diode. Now this is the actual view of PN junction diode. Here we see at the right hand side this strip is given. This strip indicate this is the N side and cathode terminal is connected in the N side region and right hand side this is P side and anode terminal is connected across the P side terminal. Now biasing of PN junction semiconductor diode. Now question arise what is biasing, why biasing is required. So, biasing is the process of applying external DC voltage to the semiconductor diode. Biasing is required to make the device conduct or to make the current flow across the device. So, it is necessary to bias a diode. So, there are basically three biasing conditions. First is zero bias, second forward bias, third is reverse bias. In case of zero bias, there is no external DC voltage applied across the terminal. So, there is no current flow across the device. Next in forward bias, in case of forward bias, anode terminal is connected to positive terminal of battery and cathode is connected to negative terminal of battery. It means anode is positive and cathode is negative. The device is subjected to forward bias. Third is reverse bias. In case of reverse bias, anode is negative. It means anode is connected to negative terminal of battery and cathode is positive. It means it is connected to positive terminal of battery and device is subjected to reverse bias. In this video, I will explain you all the biasing in one by one. So first is zero bias or unbiased PN junction. In case of unbiased PN junction, when we form a PN junction, we take P type or N type semiconductor material and fused them. Uh, join them to form the PN junction. When PN junction is formed and we not apply any external voltage across the terminal of P or N type device, this device is said to be unbiased or zero biased PN junction. In this case, N type reason having majority carrier electron and P type reason having majority carrier hole. So, due to the concentration gradient, N type electron move toward P side reason and diffuse here. So, number of immobile ion create near the junction. N side positive immobile ion are collected near the junction and P side negative immobile ion collected near the junction and depletion reason will form. This depletion reason having a potential barrier, this potential barrier further not allow the flow of charge carrier from N side to P side and no current flow 
across the junction during unbiased or zero biased condition so we can say that in case of zero bias there is a depletion region across the junction and zero current no current will flow in the device now second is forward bias pn junction in case of forward bias pn junction p type region is connected to positive terminal of battery n type region is connected to negative terminal of battery or we can say that anode is connected to positive terminal of battery and cathode is ter terminal is connected to negative terminal of battery device is subjected to forward bias in this case the n side electron push to move p side region and p side hole is move into the n side region due to this the depletion region width get reduces if we increase the external applied voltage the depletion region get reduced too much or a point come where the depletion region get collapsed this point of voltage is called knee voltage at this point a large current flow across the device this current is called forward current and the direction of current is from anode toward cathode and this is called forward current if here we see in the circuit diagram here we use a resistor connected in series with diode this resistor is a current limiting resistor when the diode is start conducting this resistor limit the flow of current so in case of forward bias the diode is behave like a closed switch now the vi characteristic of forward bias pn junction diode what is vi characteristic the behavior of pn junction diode is indicated by voltage ampere characteristic that is vi characteristic the vi characteristic of pn junction diode is a graph of voltage across the diode versus the current following through it so in case of forward bias there is a forward characteristic curve in case of reverse bias there is a reverse bias characteristic curve so this is forward bias characteristic curve of a pn junction diode in case of forward bias the forward characteristic is a graph of the anode to cathode forward voltage that is vf applied forward voltage and forward current that is current following through the diode that is if the forward characteristic curve is divided into two portion ab and bc ab is the first reason and bc is the second reason so in case of first reason that is ab a small forward voltage is apply across the diode so a small forward current is flow across the device which is few milliampere when we increase the forward applied voltage a point come where depletion region will collapse and the resistance across the device is very low that voltage is called knee voltage when the applied voltage is equal to the cut in voltage suddenly a large current flow across the device that current is called forward current mm -hmm. to limit this current we connect a external resistor in series with diode and this current is flow from anode to cathode this is called the forward current and device is operate in forward bias reason for silicon diode the cut in voltage is 0.7 for germanium diode it is 0.3 now reverse bias pn junction in case of reverse bias pn junction p type is connected to negative terminal of battery n side is connected to positive terminal of battery when we apply this type of polarity the device is said to be in reverse bias the width of depletion region get wide because the p type region having positive charge carrier move away from the junction and n type region having large number of electron also move away from the junction so the width of depletion region get wider and no current flow across the junction so the current i is equal to 0 this is called the reverse current in this case the diode is behave like a open switch but in case of reverse bias reverse saturation current flow in the diode it means the current flow in reverse direction due to the movement of minority carrier we know that n type region having minority carrier hole p side region having minority carrier electron so the movement of minority carrier produce a current in reverse direction that reverse current is called 
reverse saturation current which is few micro ampere for germanium diode and few nano ampere for silicon diode the reverse saturation current is depend on temperature so the reverse bias characteristic of pn junction diode here i explain the reverse characteristic is a graph of reverse voltage that is vr and the reverse current that is ir the magnitude of reverse voltage is also negative and the magnitude of reverse current is also negative when we apply the reverse bias polarity across the pn junction diode a small leakage current that is called reverse leakage current flow across the device due to the movement of minority carrier when we increase this reverse bias voltage the reverse leakage current start following in the diode this current is treated as the negative current hence the characteristic is appear in the third quadrant of the vi curve a point come as the reverse voltage increases the reverse saturation current remain constant that is i not if the temperature is constant this is because the reverse saturation current does not depend on the reverse voltage but it depend on temperature when we start increasing reverse voltage and reverse voltage appear across the breakdown voltage suddenly a large current reverse current flow across the device and device is work in the breakdown region this large current should be avoid because the diode may be damaged due to the excess power of dissipation typically the reverse breakdown voltage of pn junction diode is 50 to 100 volts 